Okay, we are ready for taxi. Therefore, we can set off our park, our park break. Taxi lights. Checklist. X checked. Break temperature. It's here. Green. Take off briefing complete. Taxi check is complete. When you are taxiing, you can activate Toga. Toga is activated in two ways. One way, the first way is hidden by hidden spot here. And second, here on trust level. You know, you can see this white palm is changing for indicating finger. Toga activated. But guys, if you depart uh, with seat procedure, you can press R enough and V enough before takeoff. They will be activated anyway, at least at uh, 400 uh, feet above uh, ground level. So they may be uh, set now. Okay, and our checklist before takeoff will be uh, in the moment for now. Strobe lights, we can still, uh, we can uh, wait with, with landing lights as well. And we will perform a back check to runway zero two. Flight oh, attendants, ninety five. Take on here fuel quantity. Check transporter. Okay, transporter set. Take of configuration. configuration. Great. It will be long back track because it actually is approximately in the half of uh, runway length. On runway two zero. Beautiful weather in Brazil, isn't it?
Okay, and as you can see, the rainbow runway keeps going another, you have to believe me, another almost 2,000 meters. No, it's really quite long. On runway zero two. Landing lights. Auto throttle. And ready for departure. Hear that engine thrust is, is lower than default, and you will see that take of checked the take of uh, climb will be more smooth as well. See, RF is already activated and flight change VNAP mode is activated as well. Take of kind of very, very smooth. We can change the speed setting from manual for automatic for, for VNAP speed. Okay. And autopilot on. Taxi lights off. Automatic mode speed has changed. This is limit for flaps too. You can see the progress. It's parallel to, uh, it's all the same, like, like, you know, for, and it should be this way. Okay, perhaps one. Speed has changed again for 200 to 5 knots. Up zero. Up zero means that we have to check our after take of check is landing gear up, laps up, after take of check is complete. Okay, we're changing um, QNH for standard value at 8,000 feet. Passenger on the right side, on the left side. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. 
and we're climbing to flight level 100 then I will show you the flight change then board okay signal we can already turn off the lights landing lights Attitude selected. This is common that you can see in PFD. And what will happen in a moment? The attitude. Uh, the attitude is still in magenta color, it means it's in VNAV mode, but in fact VNAV is going up because our requested cruise attitude is flight level 230. And we are getting command from ATC, for example, that we should climb, we are clear to climb flight level 230. So, we are setting this altitude on autopilot panel. Okay, and press flight change and what happens flight change appears already in manual mode so in green it means that the profile of climb cannot be exactly same like VNAV climb therefore to equal the profiles we should press VNAV 1 we are switching for FBA and second time we can uh, we, we have flight change in magenta color it means that we are on a VNAV profile of climb and this green line in progress uh, display in a moment will be same like this magenta line the aircraft needs some time to uh, to equal speed with liquid current speed with requested speed and this is reason why what uh, why it uh, may take a while so far we can enjoy the flight uh, because we are in the most beautiful office in the world <laughs> By the way, this is frustrating select uh, page. Uh, our, we are climbing in auto mode. It's okay, uh, but if you want to check it, uh, change it, you can always uh, switch it for climb two. Climb two is always lower than climb one value. Uh, I usually uh, use the automatic settings and they are, they are okay. Guys, as always, it depends on you. Basic on Airbus 320 or 330 experience, uh, I uh, use also a performance index, performance index, and I observe the current performance uh, pages. So far we are on climb, so uh, we have information about distance to go and the uh, requested top of climb uh, altitude. We should also update heading indication because just in case when we have to switch off enough mode, our effort will stay on the on the track uh, basing on heading indicators. It's important. It's important, especially when you're changing settings in your FMC uh, and you're switching from enough uh, for uh, heading mode in a moment. Beautiful clouds in the left and right. I don't use uh, I don't use uh, in a viral ex viral uh, because it was dropping too much uh, 
if we say about uh, FPS but I use some freeware add-on it's called Add Cloud I guess I will attach link to this uh, add-on as well uh, below the video see we are according to our departure procedure we're closing to river al preto when we where we will turn uh, turn right Okay, we are closing to top of climb. It has changed again for attitude selected, but we are still in VNAT mode. Uh, as long as this information is in magenta color, we are still in VNAT mode. Okay, and let's see what happens with our cruise speed. Take a look here. Our cruise speed in Mark is already on level 0 0.66 Mark. So you can imagine what would happen if our default or selected speed would be same like default. So 0.74 mark it's absolutely too much and your arc I believe me your arc will descend rapidly together this requested speed and then climbing uh, rapidly to uh, reach requested flight level believe me you would not control this aircraft on autopilot mode in such setting so settings so with speed uh, typed in knots to remember zero or in Mac according to your flight plan of course it may vary a little um, uh, comparing to flight plan because uh, wind is changing uh, I'm sure that you will manage on each on every flight level you fly guys this is time for coffee cup with cabin crew uh, and uh, let's see in the next part of tutorial descent and approach thank you